by far the number one request I get from you is, can you go through the steps to build a UL508A industrial control pair? We are currently going through how to build a project from concept to reality. And yes, now we are at the control panel. But before we start building, let's talk a little bit about what all we're gonna learn, what all tools we'll need, and a little bit about how this whole video series is gonna flow. Previously, we have done videos on selecting control panel components from wire duct to DIN rail to short circuit current protection, power supplies. And so throughout this series, we will be referencing them. Also, certain components are going to get specific videos because I feel there's more that you need to know about them that doesn't quite go along with the series. So down in the description, you're going to find a link with a lot of useful tips. And let's start by going through the components that we'll be using in this control panel. Every control panel needs some means of disconnect. It could be a non-fuse disconnect, it could be a fuse disconnect, or in our case, we're going to be using the Siemens 3VA6 circuit breaker. And this is not just a regular circuit breaker. This has a lot of advanced monitoring options, and we'll actually be able to pull our current monitoring off of it and read it onto the network. Then chances are you'll need some type of control power in addition to the main power of your control panel. Main powers in the US will usually be 2083 phase, 243 phase, or 483 phase. And so we can use this transformer on the left to convert that to 120 volt. And we can use our power supply here on the right to convert it on to something such as 24 volt. One thing that is different about our control system compared to, we'll say the average control system is one thing it'll be missing is a PLC. Because we're designing this as a trainer and it will be able to operate off of really any PLC that has most modern networking capabilities. We do need to still pick up our I.O. though. We're going to be using the Siemens ET200 SP to pick up our digital inputs, control a few outputs, and pick up some analog inputs and outputs. Safety is very important in your typical control panel. And we're going to show several different options of how you can safely stop your systems from your redundant contactors to options that are more available on items such as this Yamaha RCX340. Speaking of this, this will be controlling the Scare robot in the back, so we'll be able to learn about controlling robots and about how servos operate. And we're gonna connect this all together with this advanced Siemens industrial switch. And we're gonna to get together with Josh Fargus with TraceRoute, who is gonna teach us a lot about industrial networking. And before we even start building, we're gonna talk about planning our control panel because there's some very minor changes we can make to our control panels to make them not only UL, but also safer. So we're gonna talk about how simply changing from this drive to this drive brought us into conformance with UL and what that actually means. And we're gonna talk about calculating short circuit current ratings and by making minor changes to our panel, such as me leaving out this one component, I can take the short circuit current rating of this panel from 10 kiloamps to 100 kiloamps. Next, let's talk about control panel building setups and the tools that you'll need and you would prefer to have when building a control panel. 